everything without offending. So now my mouth is in the jailhouse with cases pending. First Amendment, you replaced it, rigged it, dubbed it down. It's not an option. Some of it I understand. Take a power from me. SMT Nation, we back. We're going to be doing some testing here today. Uh, we're going to pretty much give a stress test to the Verizon 5G home internet. And what we're going to do is we're going to upload a massive file. I think it's somewhere between like 10 or 11 gigs. It's actually a video. It's the, um, it's the upload for the setup of the Verizon 5G home. It's like 28 minutes or something, 25 minutes. And it's in 4K. And we're going to upload it. You got the gateway right behind you. Right there, folks. Boom. Okay, it's set up. Uh, we've been using it. And now we're going to put it to the test here. All right, so I'm going to be uploading through the app. And I want to show you guys that I am connected to the Verizon connection here. We'll take a look at the details for it so I can show you guys. Verizon. 5 gigahertz frequency. Okay, so we got that done. Let's go ahead and do this. Before I begin this, I definitely want to make sure that I start a timer. So that way you guys know for sure that uh, that we are timing this. Because we want to see how long it's, it's going to take. Now in terms of the speed, uh, we're getting 300 downlink and we're getting 20 uplink. So the 20 uplink is really the deciding factor. Okay, so I'm going to launch my clock app for my Galaxy phone. And then I'm going to just, as soon as it starts, you know, um, does, as soon as it starts doing the upload, we can start timing it. All right, so here's my stopwatch. I got it down here. And I'd like to see if maybe I could stand it up here next to it. So you guys can watch that as I time. I think that might stay. <laughs> I hope that stays. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. We're going to be watching for when I hit upload. And when it starts, I'll hit start. Okay, it says one hour. Zero percent uploaded. Let's go. No, it still hasn't really started. Still at 0%. It says about one hour remaining. Ooh. I'm not liking the sound of this. Hopefully we get a... It'll start updating here in a second. Okay, because it's still at 0%. And I would be willing to switch to the Verizon Home Internet if it could basically perform 90 to 95% of what fiber does. So we'll see if that's the case. We're one minute in and I have not seen 1% added. I don't know what's going on there. One percent. <laughs> and we are at one minute and ten seconds when it had that. Alright, let's see if it starts cooking now. I think this is going to take a long time. All right, with the art of fast forwarding. All right, you guys can see it's it's not fast. Look how slow it's moving. Huh. The question is 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 this YouTube? Or is this the internet connection? It says 9 gigs. You guys will see the file size there. This is going to take forever. We're at 2%. We're already almost 3 minutes in. Oh, goodness. Can I really sit here for an hour? Holding this camera. Guys, I have an idea. I think I'm going to cancel this. And I think I'm going to do this over the fiber. At least then I could confirm whether or not it's YouTube or it's the Verizon home internet. Let me see if I can pause this. Can I pause this? Nope, it just says delete. Should run a speed test. 
Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Wonder what our uplink looks like. Probably should have did this before, right? Verizon. What's up with the connection? Ping time is high as hell. 349. Downlink's good. 99 jitter. Ugh. And therein lies the problem. Five uplink. My biggest fear is confirmed. The uplink. Wow. 318 down and seven and a half up. And we're at 3% upload. Two hours remaining. Uh, this is not happening. I will not do this. I will not be sitting here like this. No, sir. I'm going to cancel this. And I'm going to switch the connection. We're going to go to the fiber. Because we're at five minutes. And we've got 3%. No way. Okay, we're going to switch over to the fiber. We're going to connect to the SMTHQ. And we're going to go to the Wi-Fi 6E connection. SMTHQ SS. SS stands for Super Sport, by the way. It's enough of this. And you will see that the upload just reset. Says zero percent uploaded. When it restarts, we'll time it. We'll see if it takes five minutes to do three percent. We're already at four percent upload and it just started. Eleven minutes, ten minutes. We're at 5% uploaded already. <laughs> Within five seconds, folks, we already passed up the Verizon 5G home internet. Folks, there is nothing replacing fiber. It's as simple as that. The 10 gig file. All right, so we're one minute in. We're at about 13% uploaded. And there's nine minutes remaining. Just so you guys know, I have the AT&T Fiber one gigabit symmetrical speeds. So one gig down, one gig up. I don't know about this fixed wireless business. Unless it's millimeter wave, you just can't get the uplink. Not for stuff like this. For the average user, most definitely. But uh, for a content creator uploading high resolution 4K content, no sir, no ma'am. All right, so we're just under two minutes. And we're approaching 20% uploaded. And at this point, it's not, it's not the fiber that's taking a long time. It's the bottleneck is happening on the server side for YouTube. Fast forward it for you guys here. Well, I'm not going to make you guys sit through all this. <laughs> no way, no how. This is going to end up being a really long video, and I just don't deem it necessary. Uh, but what we could do is we could take this rating. All right, we're approaching about 28, 29% here. Uh, we're approaching the three-minute mark. Looks like it is going to take about 10 minutes. Look, fixed wireless access has its place. It's probably good enough for a lot of people. It's just not good for a content creator who uploads in 4K. I guess if you upload in 1080p, it would probably be fine. But just the sheer file sizes, they're just going to be too big for this channel. Uh, I'm going to stick with the fiber. It can't do what fiber can do. Unless you get millimeter wave 5G home, then that's a go. 
All right, guys, I hope you learned something about uh, the life of a content creator and what type of connectivity they need when they make high res content and, you know, some of the things that they can and can't use. Uh, but like I said, this is going to be good for most people, but uh, it ain't it ain't cutting it for the SMT, unfortunately. So I'm going to stick with fiber for now. Uh, although I do think that for a lot of people, the Verizon 5G Home is a great option. All right, so what do you guys think? Comment down below. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Like, share, subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notification icon to never miss an upload. Links in the description for all things going on with the channel. Big shout out to my YouTube members and my patrons. Thank you all for the continued support on those platforms. Y'all are the goats. Um, and we're approaching like 42% here. Leave you guys with some words of positivity as we head out this video. Every new day is an opportunity to be great. Go out there and be great. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Peace.